In McLean County, popular venues are ready to open up tomorrow. WMBD's Austin Schick shows us how this is a turning point for the community. Starting tomorrow, all venues from museums to arenas can be filled to 100% capacity, and full sold out shows can return as normal. In Bloomington, the Grossinger Motors Arena and Bloomington Center for Performing Arts now setting dates for music, theater, and other live performances. We definitely are seeing light at the end of the tunnel, which is very exciting for us. It, it is, uh, it's been over a year since we've actually had a live performance in a larger facility. James Mack, the city's cultural arts manager, says dates are filled in the fall at the BCPA, and there's already two events tentatively set to happen at the arena later this year. And I think the, 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 the community as a whole is very excited to get out, to stretch their arms, to stretch their legs, to see a live show, to experience it with other folks. At Normals Children's Discovery Museum, the reopening is happening in the middle of its slower season. For us, the biggest change is not having to reserve time to play, to have that open-ended opportunity just to walk in during our regular business hours and play when it's good for you and your family. Unlike other venues, the CDM will still require masks of all patrons over the age of two. If you think about children, um, under the age of 12, they are not able to get vaccinated. So 80 to 90 percent of our visitors are unvaccinated. She says the museum will return to its normal hours June 22nd to honor reservations previously made before the governor's reopening announcement. As for the arena, it's still currently being used for vaccinations with the McLean County Health Department for those who are still unprotected from the virus. In the Twin Cities Newsroom, I'm Austin Schick.